Hi, welcome to our math. Today I'm doing a series of videos on rational functions. Um, in this video, it says find all the vertical and horizontal asymptotes for the following functions, list any holes, then graph. All right, so I always start with the denominator, which cannot be zero. That will give me my vertical asymptotes. It'll also potentially give me any holes. So if I start with x squared minus 5x plus 4, this can't be 0. I look at negative 1 and negative 4. They both have to be negative because 5 is negative. They do add up to negative 5, so x minus 1 times x minus 4 cannot be 0. So my vertical potential asymptotes potentially are 1 and 4. Now. I'm going to double check here in the numerator. I'm only going to factor the numerator if I have to. If I put 1 into this, negative 2 times 1 plus 4 times 1 plus 16 does not 0 make. So this is a vertical asymptote. If I put in 4, negative 2 times 4 squared. I didn't put the squared there because 1 squared is just 1. Plus 4 times 4 plus 16 does 0 make. This is going to end up being a whole. And I do need to factor that numerator. So to factor the numerator, I'm going to factor out a negative 2 and get x squared plus minus 2x minus 8. See, 1 and negative 8 does not add up to 2, but 2 and negative 4 does. So I end up with g of x equals negative 2 times x plus 2 times x minus 4 over, where's my original factoring, x minus 1 times x minus 4. Those reduce to 1 because anything divided by itself is 1. So I have negative 2 times x plus 2 over x minus 1. All right, so we have reduce this down a bit. Um, the x minus 1 with x equaling 1 is a vertical asymptote. If we put this 4 into here, g of 4 equals negative 2, 4 plus 2 over 4 minus 1. Um, and we get negative 2 times 6 over 3, which is negative 12 over 3, which equals negative 4. So our whole is at 4, negative 4. All right, so then next on our line of things to do, we have our vertical asymptote, we have our hole. There are two more things we should do. Let's get our vertical asymptote sketched in. This is at x equaling 1. Next, we want to find a horizontal asymptote. Now, instead of scooting my paper up and down a lot, I'm going to rewrite our function here, g of x equals um, negative 2x squared plus 4x plus 16 over x squared minus 5x plus 4. We could potentially use our reduced one as well, but this one has parentheses. The way we test for a horizontal asymptote is we look at the dimension of the numerator function, polynomial, and we compare it to the dimension of the denominator polynomial. Um, the numerator is a dimension of 2, we look at our leading term, our dimension of our denominator is 2, they are equal, 
which means our horizontal asymptote is made up of just, we ignore everything but that leading term, 2x squared divided by x squared, or negative 2 divided by 1, or y equals negative 2. So y equaling negative 2 is our horizontal asymptote. Next, we want to figure out a few points on our graph. So using this equation, we are going to come up with a few points. On our graph. And because our asymptote is at 1, I tend to choose things around there. So maybe negative 1, 0, not 1, 2, and 3. We'll look at four points and see what happens at those four points. Um, we could just plug those in because this is kind of ugly. I'm not going to do the full setup on the calculator, but I tend to use my calculator. I go into the mode, hit 7 for table. I would do parenthesis, negative 2. And then if right above the parentheses, there's this x, so I would hit alpha x squared plus 4 alpha x plus 16, close parentheses, divide, open parentheses, alpha x squared minus 5 alpha x plus 4. And then I want to go from negative 1, so I type in negative 1. I want to end at 3. And right here is where I could decide if I want to do a step or 0 0.5. If I put in 0.5, I'm just going to get a few more points. Um, I'm just going to do the 1, the 0. Notice 1 is an error because that's our asymptote. The 2, which is negative 8. And notice I only go to negative 8, so when I get to... 3, which, oh, that's negative 5, and negative 5. Um, and I have more points here if I need them. So negative 1 was 1, 0, 0, sorry, 0, 0 is wrong. I didn't read that correctly on my calculator. 0 is 4. 0, 4. That makes more sense. Um, so we can see that this is coming up this way. And it's going to come down. I do want to quickly note that... Um, it's the wrong direction. This will come down this way. And then we have... 2, negative 8, which is all the way down here, and 3, negative 5. 4, negative 4 is a whole, because we already have that. And so we can put the whole into the graph. So we just plotted the points that we could with our whole, giving us the points from the calculator, just a few to kind of let us know how everything swung in our graph. All right. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks.